we go, folks. Now, Trevor Hill from Bruce's, mate. What we're doing today is putting up a few floor quarters, so I'll just be showing you where the cuts come off, the cutting lines. Now, I'm taking the uh, T-bone part off. I'm going to come up here and take the fillet out on the T-bone. So, just on that inch there of the hip bone, I want to make a centimetre cut in there. See the seam, and you can actually see the seam in there saying come through. About a centimetre down the edge of the, uh, of the rock bone on the inside, down that first vertebrae, and knife into that vertebrae to the back of it. What I've done now is I've freed that vertebrae so when I cut it through, it's going to be a lot easier. As it's a bit of ripping and tearing, so I don't necessarily need to use the knife all the way. What I've done is I've got the knife on the bone. Coming under, you can see that cut under there, with it nice and level. And again, you want to see how square that is. So this is the port, this is the T-bone. We've just done the porterhouse from here, and you've seen me hang away the ribeye from that end. Now what we're doing here is we have the fillet steak on here, so we're going to square that off. And again, the importance of cutting square, I haven't got a kink in it. I'm not trying to feather in tails and things like that. So again, I cut through to the bench. One's clean cut. I've got that open, and that's my fillet steak. We'll trim that up momentarily. I'm going to clean up your porterhouse, removing the excess fat from the, from the T bone, I should say. We've already done the porterhouse. So that is your T bone. Again, when I cut it, I'll take that little bit of bone off there. But as I cut them, it's square, so I'm not going to lose anything extra on there. And I've got full fillet in just about all T-bones. And that's why we take it off at the fourth wrist. 